there, buddy. Hey, listen, uh, you know, it's a Sunday ending, the Tampa Bay Boat Show. What a great show. And we had a lot of good points from people coming by, um, a lot of good feedback. And some of that feedback we just want to turn into a video so everybody can watch and possibly help understand the interaction between a hydrofoil and a pontoon boat, okay? Um, so as you can see, our Verifoil system here is at a 45 degree angle on a pontoon boat. We have it uh, specially cradled and this allows us to have this showing right now to hopefully you can see what this is all about and how it works under a pontoon boat. Um, you can't tell this, but this foil is about three to four inches under the pontoon keel line, okay? These Vera struts, which are two V struts, tie into our Vera attach angles, which are mounted at, at the deck level, and they're adjustable, okay? So we have this fore and aft adjustability of this foil. We can go front, we can go back, we can go up and we can go down. We have five, in, five inches of adjustability there. And we also have a negative seven to a positive seven degree angle change. So we never use more than three degrees of pitch because it just gives us too much lift or not enough. So we are normally at a negative three to a positive three, but we do have that capability of going that high. So this foil itself is a foil that's our prototype number 16 um, it happens to be for the electric industry. We're researching how well a little bit larger foil works for the electric industry of what they may need. And that's why that we're on prototype number 16. All right, this foil in itself um, is a foil that produces about 2,000 pounds of lift at 25 miles per hour. So we can take on this particular boat we can take the boat out of the water about six inches at 25 miles an hour now one other point we wanted to say while you're looking at it is is that if you look at the actual interaction of the attachment uh, bars that go to the deck they're only if you take my finger they're only approximately three to four inches inboard of the main structure that ties the tunes into the deck so we're basically forcing the lift, or that 2,000 pounds, into the deck four inches in from the main body or the main structure that ties it to the tunes. So there may be some concern about, okay, well, I may be pushing my deck up, or I may push the, the, the deck through the, the boat or bend the deck. No, it's not going to happen because in this case you can see that these are all through bolted, by the way, with quarter inch bolts. And each one of these at four tie points is tied into four, in, four on this side and four on the port side to where that um, load is transferred to four separate deck beams on either side, eight deck beams divided by about 2,000 pounds of lift. Do the math, you're somewhere around 250 pounds, right? So each one of these deck beams, four inches out from the main structure, has to support 250 pounds. Also, what we wanted to show you is just the interaction of how this goes together, okay? If you purchase a kit, you are getting the struts, the, the Vera struts. So there's two of those, port side and starboard side. You get the Vera foil itself, which is plug and play ready for your boat size because each dimension between the smallest um, measured in inches dimension between hull to hull is, is different from, from boat to boat, right? So we, we build our foils for your boat. We're not a one size fits all company. We're all American made, by the way, but each size of each pontoon is different. So what we do is we ask you to measure the distance between the smallest point here, which is the middle of the radius, obviously, to the middle of the radius on this pontoon hull. We build the width of this Verifoil blade to that dimension. When you get that kit that goes together with two screws here, right, it'll be a one screw, one screw, it's gonna, sh it's gonna come like this. This is a small um, scale version of what this Vera strut looks like, okay? And this will plug and play into the Verifoil kit. You will go ahead, put the two screws in with Loctite as per our manual, okay? You will take that and you will sit that upside down. You'll put the other side on. You'll sit that down and it'll basically be a table. So if you picture this upside down, this whole assembly, it'll be upside down. 
Go ahead, you drill out, you locate your innermost point here, level up to the deck beams, and then you drill these uh, bare attach angles into the hull, attach them, okay? And once that's done, that's the hardest part of the job. Then we gotta move on to, this takes about five minutes to, to put this assembly together. This takes about an hour if you're going slow. And then we have your bare attach system or your bare plate system that goes onto the motor. These are made for each motor size. They're CNC'd here. This would be a modified PVC, okay? This is good for 45 miles an hour and under. Um, we rate it for 40 miles an hour, but we have now tested it up to 45 uh, to find out that it is now even stronger than our mathematical numbers are telling us. But this mounts to your uh, motor, which is back there, and it acts like a uh, elevator on an airplane. In other words, if we trim down, we're putting the bow up, okay? If we trim up, we're putting the bow up. So we're, what we're doing is we're taking adjusting the pitch of the boat by adjusting the trim tilt mechanism by just a touch of the button so that as you're going through the water, if there's weight changes in the boat, we can adjust for that and fly the boat level, just like an airplane, okay? Um, there's two versions to this. This would be the finalic version, and the finalic version is for higher speed version, 110 miles an hour. Um, and this is the uh, modified PVC version. And then right here, these are the actual CNC 2x3 bare attach angles that you're seeing. And they represent 24 inches of adjustability for an axe. 